sound like opposite of what culture says is okay of what culture says this is the standard this is the way to live no christians are called to live counterculturally maintaining purity in a secular secular world can be challenging but deeply rewarding so here are a few things or a few ways to help christians to navigate this journey of life and stay pure and live a godly life as god tells us to this journey is a journey of continuous growth and reliance on god's spirit and god's wisdom to help us because at the end of the day we have been perfected daily we have been transformed daily to become more and more christ-like and it's a beautiful process it's a process that sometimes may be hard but it is so worth it to live for jesus and to honor him in everything that we do that's one way is staying rooted in scripture now there's just no way there's no way to live a holy life to live a godly life especially in this day and age without being in your word without being rooted in god's word without letting god's word guide you look we live in a dark world it is full of so many things temptations distractions things that the enemy vices so many things we need the word of god to truly be the light that is within us to guide us in everything that we do every choice every decision every path that we take psalm 119 verse 9 says how can a young person guide his way by being in the word let god's scripture be the compass and guide for your life and literally your life will change your life will literally change god's word is everything second thing that, that would help christians navigate this journey is prayer i cannot emphasize enough how important prayer is prayer is so powerful so 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 powerful it is our number one way of staying connected to god it is our number one way of hearing god's voice our number one way where in prayer one is transformed the person who prays consistently is transformed in prayer where god's presence is the presence of the holy spirit there is transformation transformation of your mind your thinking patterns transformation of your will you know allowing your will to be surrendered to god please don't neglect your prayer life and ask the holy spirit to help you always to grow in your prayer to be consistent in your prayer to be disciplined in because it is so important in this age to have an open line of communication with god and know that that's one thing that the enemy definitely attacks so as the bible tells us i want to encourage you also to be alert be sober-minded and to be vigilant the next thing that will help you is to guard your heart and mind guard your heart for what you consume Guard your mind, what you take in, what you listen to, what you entertain, the media, the books, whatever it is that you know can be an access for the enemy to fill your mind with things that are not clean, with ideas that are not of God, that are contradictory to what God says in his word as his standard. Whatever you know wouldn't please God, avoid it. And it's it's possible to. There are so many things that are entertaining and fun and look cool but they are so harmful for your spiritual walk and it's not worth it it is not worth the price i made a video on secular music which is up on my channel and i got so many reactions to that video and it was some were really great because obviously there are christians who do understand um and do know biblically and who do know the impact of secular music but there are also other christians who actually argue with you that secular music is okay to listen to and doesn't affect them and while there are other christians who argue with you all day that secular music is okay and it's not a sin and it isn't all of that stuff but look the question is does this help me in my relationship with the lord is this holy is this pure is this of good report philippians 4 8 right everything we do should be filled through that lens of what if i'm pleasing to god and this what isn't to be a burden to somebody who loves the lord it's not a struggle necessarily to somebody who is willing to live for jesus and by me saying it's not a struggle i don't mean it's not going to be challenging at times to give up things for the sake of your walk with god but it's possible through the power of the holy spirit because when jesus called the disciples what did the bible say they dropped their nets so whatever it is that can be a hindrance Whatever it is that's going to weigh you down on this walk of God, God wants you to lay aside, 
to drop it down to look forward wholeheartedly in walking with him and that means letting go of certain things that are just not pleasing to him just set boundaries or whatever will not help you in your walk of purity the next thing is embracing holiness as a lifestyle jesus lived a holy life and we are called to live as he lived he is the standard christians he is the standard he gave us an example of what we should follow of what we should live like this is a lifestyle christianity is not a label it's not just a religion it is a way of life there's so much that entails like the weight that carries i feel like has been so reduced or so poorly understood sometimes in the generation that we are in it has become so watered down to just god loves you like you love god there's so much to this walk of god and that is why god wants us to grow in our understanding of his ways of his kingdom of his heart of the gospel and what it means it requires a constant surrendering of my will your will to god's will to god's ways not my will but yours be done is what jesus said even when it in the time when it was really 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 hard so holiness is embodying the character of christ in every area of your life by yielding to his transformation process that he wants to take each and every one of us on the next thing is, is to live counterculturally. that means there to be different we're not meant to fit in with the world we're meant to stand out as the light of the world we're meant to be representatives and ambassadors of christ jesus and his kingdom that means that there has to be a distinction in our character in our choices in everything that we do among believers romans 12 2 reminds us not to conform to the pattern of this world but to be renewed by the transformation of our mind don't let your faith just be oh i believe let it be a way of life matthew 5 16 also encourages and let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven the next thing to do is cultivate self-control and discipline christian without discipline would live anyhow would live a random life would live a life that purity often requires saying no to certain temptations and desires of the world and desires of the flesh and i've made a video about fasting and when i said fasting is literally about practicing that discipline of saying no to the flesh Galatians 5 22 also lists self-control as a fruit of the holy spirit so when you are connected to the holy spirit the byproduct of that is you're able to have self-control in certain situations that perhaps you once fell for or perhaps um you don't think you're able to but through the holy spirit you're able to now say no and stand firmly on the front on the convictions that god has given to you to live by so please 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 rely on the holy spirit to resist temptation we cannot do it in our own strength we need god's help in the form of his holy spirit within us so i pray this has encouraged you guys make sure to comment your thoughts subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video okay